Welcome to this episode of The Path to Performance Excellence with mental performance coach, Tommy Richardson. Today I'd like to share with you some thoughts about developing a successful mindset. Well, let me clear that up. Let's use those two two words, success and mindset. Uh, Success is is a personal thing. But there are a lot of definitions of that, and one that I like to, to use. Uh, one is a peace of mind, okay, that a person has when they're doing the best to become the best that they can be. And the secondly, as we think about uh, a, uh, a success, a progressive realization, a worthwhile goal. Either one of those, whatever your definition might be, but I think what we want to share some thoughts about, the mindset is important. And the mindset is simply our habits of thought. It's the way that we think about things. It's not just one thought, but it becomes a mindset when it becomes a habit and over and over and over by repetition. Now, I want to ask you two questions as we, as we think about the success mindset. The first question is, how much of your business is mental? Now, I am, you know, when you think about your business, it could be any number of things. It could be athletics, it could be business, it could be leadership, it could be sales, it could be any number of things, but when you really look at it, The question is, how much of that success is mental? And when you think about it, most businesses run anywhere from 50 to 80 to 85 percent of that business, depending upon the business, of course, is mental. Okay. When we get into the athletic world, think about how much the athletic sports are mental. Take golf, for instance. Most people will tell you most of the the golf is about 90 percent mental and most of the research points that out. So that's a question we need to ask ourselves as we think about how much of your business is mental? The second question, how much time, effort, and resources are you allotting to the mental part of your business? The mental game, we call it. How much time? How much resources? How how much of that uh, effort are you putting into the, the mental aspect of what you do? Well, as I survey people across the country in workshops and seminars, I find many times that's the lacking part. (laughs) That's the lacking part. They're not doing a whole lot in that particular area to develop a success mindset. My experience indicates that as we look at success in any endeavor, however we want to spell it, that there are some basic areas that are critical, and I call it the formula but here, it, it's simply things. There may be others, but I've always found that there's somewhat of a natural ability there. There's sometimes a God-given gift that we have. There's a natural ability that helps us. Secondly, as we look at it, I think there's certainly the whole process of knowledge and skills. Now, sometimes we lump those together. Knowledge is the what and skills is the how. But if we're going to be successful, we need to know how and certainly uh, need to know what we're to, do, to be uh, done in that process. I think a third element, I think, and I'm seeing more and more of this today, it's the element of fitness and energy and wellness. Because without that, you don't have the energy, you don't have the, the health to be able to be successful in your business or in your athletic endeavor. The fourth one that I think that's so critical is this mental fitness. It is, a, it is these things of dealing with... Uh, the thoughts and the, uh, the attitudes that we operate with that really becomes a part of that being successful and developing that mindset. And the mindset certainly is a major part of that fourth one, that mental approach that we take to our work. I've spent many years working in athletics and in the business world, and I have found many, many situations where there is tremendous advantage to developing the mental game. And that's the reason many years ago, coming out of the business world and, and in athletics, I saw the real need to create uh, the concept of mental performance skills that could be used in the business or athletics. Some of the advantages that I have found as I've looked at that situation is increased confidence, uh, greater focus, the ability to handle setbacks and discouragement, the ability to relax and handle stress, just a few of the many, many benefits of the mental approach that we take to our business and to athletics. Now, I think as we look at it, the best part of all is all of these skills can be learned. All of them can be learned. But it's, uh, again, the uh, our challenge to take the time, the resources to be able to do that. Check my, check my blog, coachtom.net, 
And you will see there the blog and our videos will really help you as you look into the mental side of your business and your game. So let's develop that success mindset. I guarantee you great results. Thank you for watching this episode of The Path to Performance Excellence with Tommy Richardson. For more great information, visit Tommy's website at coachtom.net.